Hello, I'm Barry Anderson, president of Anderson Flaps. I'm also the designer of Pico Flaps. Have you ever been driving down the freeway on a rainy day and wished you could see better around the truck? That's where Eco Flaps came from. I was frustrated myself, got tired of waiting on someone else to fix the problem, and designed Eco Flap. Ashley is here to help me demonstrate all the bad things that a traditional mud flaps do on the rainy days. What a lot of motorists don't understand is that truck drivers can't really see around their trucks in the rain because of all the spray that is coming off of their mud flaps. With the design of our eco flaps, it lets the air and water through, which provides better visibility. We had this uh, wind generating machine specifically designed to show what the traditional mud flaps do on, with tractor trailers in the rain. And this is our digital force meter, which is going to show us in pounds how much force is exerted from the truck onto the mud flap. Of course, the more pounds it exerts, the more fuel it wastes. These pans of water are going to simulate the water on the freeway that's getting blown off the freeway by the traditional flaps. As you can see, not only does it not blow the water out of the pans, it doesn't even hardly make any ripple. And it was generating about 1.6 pounds of force on the force meter, which means that the fuel economy is going to be much better because it's less. We have a few competitors out there, and this is the latest one. It's called an arrow flap. And people think that because it looks somewhat like an eco flap, it's basically the same thing. Well, it is no eco flap as you will see when we put it all on this on this wind generating machine. As you can see by the way the water's been blown around inside the pans, it is definitely creating more spray than an eco flap, and it's also generating about 2.8 pounds of force, which is also wasting more fuel. This is a spray down, and it was designed basically to pass the 1972 test in Europe that was designed to test 1959 technology. And while it will beat the 1972 test criteria, it really doesn't help that much on rainy days or for fuel economy. As you can see, it, it really blows the water around and it was generating about 4.6 pounds of force. There is uh, one more competitor out there. Now, we, we could only find a 24 inch part, but because it's shorter, it would actually burn less fuel and because it's further off the floor, it will actually uh, 
generate less spray. So you just have to imagine how much worse it would be with an extra with six more inches so it was the same size as the other parts that we're demonstrating here today. see it pretty much blew all the water out of the pans which would also blow the, the water off the freeway into traffic and it was generating about four pounds of force doing so. Now in 1959 they enacted legislation requiring mud flaps on tractor trailers in the state of Tennessee and every state is different but they were all in the same general neighborhood. So, although this is a brand new part I bought last week, this is what most companies are using, some version of this. This is a heavy rubber mud flap. And again, designed in the 50s, and it's what they're using today. why you can't see around the trucks in the rain. Not only does the water get blown off the side of the park out into traffic, it's also blown off the freeway and that's what makes the big cloud on rainy days. It was also showing about a little over four pounds of force or about four pounds of force on the digital force meter. We've got one more part here to show you. Again, this is a, a new part and a lot of companies are using them. It's a heavy rubber flap. This is a flap that was designed in the 70s, which is basically the same thing, only it's a, uh, made out of hard plastic. But we want to try to hit every, all the different designs out there. But anyway, here's a 1970s technology, and between the heavy rubber one and this one, I would say that's 90% of the trucks that aren't using eco flaps in the United States today. by the water sprayed out beside the pans that's why you can't see around the trucks in the rain also it was generating about the same amount of force as the heavy rubber flap or about 3.7 pounds now if you're running west in the United States and going through Arizona they actually write tickets if the flaps aren't blowing if the flaps are blowing back so what you have to do be legal is a you have to make your flaps longer so you can't even go through a mud puddle without tearing them off or b you have to put an anti-cell bracket on them to get them up off the highway enough so you can back through a back over a curb without tearing them up so here is the solution to keeping them where they're supposed to be going down the freeway
as you can tell, because it was showing about 4.6 pounds on the force meter, it's wasting even more fuel than a flap without that. Again, the smaller the number on the force meter, the less fuel you're wasting. The more water that's being blown out of the pans, the harder it is to see around the trucks in the rain. Now, because of the fact that our parts are made out of high-grade nylon in Cookville, Tennessee, they should last the life of the vehicle. None of our customers that have started putting eco flaps on exclusively are replacing more than 2%. And because you wheel back through a deep hole or blow a tire someday, you will have to replace one once in a while. But a lot of companies out there are replacing up to 50% of their traditional flaps every year instead of 2%. Some of the best things about EcoFlaps is that not only does it reduce spray and drag, but it also helps make for better vis visibility and better, more safer highway driving. And if anybody wants to check this out for themselves, they can come down to our office in Chattanooga, Tennessee and switch the parts out themselves.